my dear Dracula. Explain all I can. <sighs> Briefly. But I shall be informative. I write now upon the curls and yellow paper, but before I lose myself in the moment. I will go back, and I will explain everything. My dear Vlad. The day before yesterday, I had nearly healed everyone in the town. Women, children, men young and old. was completely rid of illness, and I thought that this would be my opportunity to return home. I had started to pack for the journey home. I even sent a boy onward before me to return my more heavier medical equipment to the house. I was hopeful, ready to return. I wanted nothing more than to come back right then. No, but it would have to wait. It would wait. So I went to sleep that night with everything ready. A smile on my face. And thoughts of home. And you. I went to bed. But in the late hours of the night, the small compartment-like lodging I was sleeping in was burst into. I woke up in a panic. Hands seized me in the dark. Using my dagger, I stabbed whoever I could whatever I could see. Screaming was heard and I felt the warm rush of blood fall upon me. Oh, blood, blood. With all the haste, I grabbed my diary and kept my dagger. I ran into the cold. I ran as fast as I could. The winds howling around me as I could hear screams behind me. And so I kept running. Running as fast as I could. I don't know which direction I ran. I was such a fool. seen as something to be abused, taken advantage of. (sighs) 
whether it be seen as a witch or as someone to use, I don't know. But plan. Oh, I wish I just could be seen as who I am. I want to be a doctor. I want to use science to help people. Why can't that be enough? Instead, I must flee. I must run. And now, now I have run into the cold. Alone, unsure of where I am going. As soon as the sun rises, I am going to return home. Back to where I belong. I wish, I wish humanity could rise to the occasion for that. I wish we could prove you wrong and be better. Despite what has happened, despite everything, Vlad, you mustn't be cross. You mustn't be angry. Would you call me a sinner for the actions of someone else? No. Nor sooner would I label you a monster for the fact you need blood to survive. <sighs> Therefore, you cannot Blame all of humanity for the actions of you. You can't, Vlad. It's not fair. God, how I wish. Oh, God, how I wish. I wish a lot of fleas, Vlad. I wish for so much. But I write now to you. Because my greatest wish is for you to know. I want you to know everything. I'm coming home, Vlad with blood on my hands and my spirit hung low. But I want you to know. That when I return, I want to see you. And to tell you I love you most ardently. I do. I don't know when or how this love came to be, but that I do. And I was such a fool to leave your side. Ever since I left your castle, I've wanted so much to return. God forgive me. God forgive me, but I do. I do. I don't care if you are the peasant, the lowest of the low, or the king of vampires. I don't care. I love you. I pray.
pray that your heart feels the same for me. And if not, then know that I will still remain your dearest friend. And my heart is ever yours. <sighs> you may be correct about humanity. You may be absolutely right. But regardless of all of this, I will not give up hope. And I pray that you would take my heart and take my hope. <sighs> and that you would return it. I'm coming home, Flat. I'm coming home. bottom of my heart. I love you. And I will always be yours. Oh, the cold numbs my fingers. I can hardly write. from this day till my last, and I will forever be yours. Vlad, Dracula.